<clears throat> Hello, welcome back to an episode of The Wolf Among Us. In the last episode, we met Bloody Mary and uh, she and the Crooked Man took Ichabod Crane away. are a nasty business. A silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep him eating this way, old boy. Man, I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. Swineheart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. do I suppose he's lucky to be alive and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this he didn't listen to me before maybe he'll listen to you I don't know about that well he should <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen yes but it's not like you actively discouraged it either <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Let's watch the vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. <clears throat> He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. 
I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> they didn't like each other. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. <laughs> you had us... <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were- Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <sighs> Colin- <laughs> I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the Crooked Man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. Yeah, about that. Giving up Crane to save my skin really made us look weak. <laughs> that made us look weak? Oh, but not Mary shooting you and holding an axe to your big head. Look, I'm not saying it was a good day. Just that we could have done without all the, uh, bargaining at the end. The crooked man's gonna think- I don't care what he thinks. It was the only option. All I care about right now is just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swineheart said, okay? <laughs> the Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Look. I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. 
So for that, you want to give them a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Well, at least someone <laughs> understands. Thanks, Colin. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. I'm not. <laughs> Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could hmm. be? Ah, uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. <laughs> She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. <laughs> <laughs> and I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. The rules are the rules. I don't get to make them, I just enforce them. Bull shit. You give favors all the time. Ooh. I know you do. Yeah. Well, I think I ran out. Sorry, Colin, but... There's a reason for it, I guess. It's not quite sure what that reason is. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, feel free to share with a friend, and I'll see you on the next one.